I came all the way out here to New York for this. Sucks, we took a major L. Though. We took an M for misdemeanor. <laughs> we got a misdemeanor. <laughs> and then they made me delete all the footage. So you see, I may be going to jail in a couple months. Let me explain. A couple of weeks ago, I moved out of my apartment in Florida and came to visit my family for a bit. It's honestly been really nice spending time with my little brother and sister the past couple of weeks. Teach me how to duck. Teach me how to duck. <laughs> 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 but I do kind of feel bad for my little brother, Logan. What have you been struggling with most, like quarantine-wise? I don't know, I'm just bored. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. How do, you, how do you feel about moving, like, here? It made it harder, because we don't already know people here. Like, if we stayed in Georgia, I, I could still, like, possibly hang out with my friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that car coming this way? Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, I can't grab it. <laughs> so that's when I got the idea to take Logan on a fun adventure. Besides, it's been a couple of years since we've really done any kind of adventure. I think the last dumb thing we did together was trying to sneak into a rated R movie. Do you think it worked? Well, we were charging them for two tickets, so... The plan is simple. I want to give Logan a fun adventure, so I booked the tiny home Airbnb in the mountains to get away for a while. If you're tall, duck. That's for you. <laughs> Dude, your head's almost on the ceiling. No service. Oh. Did you get service? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically the last of the footage I got before I was forced to delete all my footage. Uh, so here is exactly why I might be going to jail. While we were out in the mountains, I had seen this picture of this one specific mountain and on that specific mountain, there was this roller coaster. But it was abandoned, so there was no one there. Which sounded so fucking cool to check out. So we had found a way up this mountain and we got to an entrance. There was a gate with a sign that said, no trespassing. Oh no, I said, whatever shall I do? I'm going to need your help. Should we leave and go back down the mountain? Should we try and catapult ourselves over the gate? Or should we take the extremely easy route and just, just walk around the gate? After getting in, we made it up to the roller coaster to see this amazing view from the top of the mountain. I then proceeded to pee off the side of the roller coaster, adding that to my list of one of the coolest places I've ever peed off of. I promised my brother an adventure, and this was it. Watching the sunset on top of a roller coaster that was on a mountain. And honestly, it was, it was amazing. That is until the cops came. We got misdemeanors. Misdemeanors. Misery squad. <laughs> Let's go. And now we got court dates. But the shittiest part is they're not, on the they're not even on the same day. We gotta go to court on like two weeks separate. That sucks. I was thinking we could roll up with suits on and, and <laughs> <laughs> make that it would be so funny. Make it a really fun <laughs> possible. Apparently we have a possibility of going to jail. That's pretty fun. Good That's thing sucks. I've been taking But I wanted to give my brother a fun adventure. And even though we did get in trouble, I don't think I regret it. The couple days that we were out there were still fun, and Logan, at the very least, got to finally get out of the house after almost a year of being stuck inside there. We spent the next day out of trouble, and I spent my time trying to get to know my little brother. Hopefully we won't go to jail. Again, that is worst case scenario. But if I do, at least I will get hella street cred. 
Oh, and don't worry, Logan didn't get in any trouble because, well, he's a minor, thank God. Because my parents would have probably killed me. If you're gonna trespass, put the emergency brake in your car. On. <laughs> they can't take the car! <laughs> also, if you're gonna trespass, don't get caught. Yeah. We we parked really bad. I mean, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So bad. <laughs> Welcome to Aiden Jeopardy. Today we will be guessing what Aiden and Naren are up to. A. Are they trying to collect cardboard for their sick cardboard collection? B. Are they playing hide and seek and hiding in a dumpster? Or C. Are they doing a bucket list item that involves building cardboard suits of armor so they can go to medieval times cosplaying as knights? <laughs> I was having trouble with the idea too. <laughs> I think feet first is probably easy. Dude, I don't know. You I gotta. Just, I can't get my left foot up. I have nothing to hold. Just pull me. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Pull me outwards. <laughs> oh wait. Okay. How do we do this? I don't know. I might just need to do a handstand. Okay. Just gonna come okay, dude. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I feel pretty fucking cool right now. Call me a uh, Sir Aids the Second. Call me the finishing move. <laughs> Your name is the finishing move. Sir, finishing move <laughs> to you. Ow. <laughs> You guys want to fight? How did you guys make those? Uh, a lot of cardboard and duct tape. <laughs> well, I'm Leah. I'll be your wench for this evening. <laughs> Thanks, wench. And, yes, no problem. Do you ever get offended when people call you a wench? No, because that is my title. I'm just, just a peasant, you know? It feels offensive. It feels... <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is the part of the video where I do some type of monologue about my experience with 2020. Obviously, this year has been pretty rough for all of us, although I think I've learned a lot about myself. I guess that's what happens when you spend most of the year stuck inside your own head. It felt like a never-ending existential crisis, and that really made it hard for me to want to do anything. But I've also realized that it's moments like these that you truly get to know yourself as a person. I've learned that life can be pretty random sometimes, and there really is no way to know the outcome of any situation. Focusing too much on the future can leave you with this sense of fear and anxiety that isn't healthy for anyone. The best way I've learned to deal with this is to instead focus on the day-to-day, -day, slow life down, and really take in each and every moment, because those moments that seem so small end up being the big moments. I've also realized how much I've really taken life for granted. When your world flips upside down and the new normal sucks, I guess that kind of happens. I definitely fell to my lowest point, but lucky me, I've had some of the best support anyone could ever ask for. 
between my good friends, my family, and well, everyone who supports me, I really don't have anything to complain about. I know I don't say this often because I'm dumb, but thank you. I'm not sure I could have done this year alone. Last but not least, I'm done with feeling sorry for myself. I seem to fall back into these bad habits and then justify it by blaming it on a terrible year. I think I've always been pretty good at making the best of my situation, but I just didn't this year. That's why this 2021, I'm not making excuses. I'm going to try my absolute best. I know that 2020 probably sucked for a lot of you also, but think of it this way. Everyone has a story. Those stories are filled with these up and down moments, and this year was definitely a lower moment for everyone. But I guess the story would be pretty boring if there were only ever ups. I'm glad you all made it through this year with me, and I have a feeling that 2021 is going to be a better one. God, I hope this doesn't age poorly. Cheers. This cheers to our virtual. Cheers to 2021 with the homies. Yeah, bitch, okay, no, Troy. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, if you don't make a YouTube video, that's I'm gonna stab you. I'm recording it right now, Troy. Oh, okay, hi. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, uh, th then this is might might not be a video. <laughs> Cause you're. <laughs> yeah, dude, are you okay with me putting drunk Troy on the internet? Can yes. You, you can't consent until you're sober. Yeah, okay. Give me a clip. I'll pick the last. I'm gonna get you a shot of you consenting when you're sober, and then maybe I'll put you in a video. Okay. Give me a paper clip. I'll pick I don't the have a paper clip. Okay. Fine. When I'll pick. Why a would I have a paper clip? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Why would I get a paper I clip? I swear. Okay. Whatever. If you give me, I will pick a lock. I've done it before. It's not that hard.